Hello, YouTube. Are you for real right now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a quick video on the recovery of my uh, scope on my right knee that I had done today. For those of you that are going in and getting it done, maybe this will help you out a little bit. But anyway, I hurt my knee on a treadmill and my problem was any kind of physical activity, the knee would swell up. So I've been extremely lazy for the past two years while we tried to sort this out. So I've just gotten back from the hospital. I'm actually feeling pretty good. There's zero pain. Here's a quick look at the bandage. It's just a tensor with some, with some looks like some gauze underneath. The bandage stays on for 48 hours. So anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. There was very, very little pain. Everybody at the hospital was awesome. Uh, and uh, so I guess right now I'm just gonna relax, ice it, and then we'll check in tomorrow and I'll let you know how it goes. Oh yeah, and by the way, I walked out of the hospital, walked to the car, walked up the driveway, walked up the stairs. So my doctor doesn't believe in crutches, so I will not use crutches. And uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. All right, we'll check back in tomorrow. Here's a look at my knee and you can tell it is extremely swollen. Um, I'm not quite sure if this swelling is normal or not. Uh, I slept pretty good last night though. The painkillers they've got me on are really uh, messing me up though. And uh, all I'm doing is icing it and keeping it elevated and trying to avoid the painkillers, but they're kind of an unnecessary evil at this point. So uh, that's about all that's going on on day two. So we're about uh, 45 hours from the surgery and I'm fairly disappointed with the way things are going. Uh, the doctor told me I'd be driving in two to three days and I am nowhere close to being able to drive. I can't bend my leg. I don't have much movement in my leg. It's still extremely swollen. I want to compare that to the other one. So it's time to take the bandage off. I'm not very excited. It's disgusting. Hey everyone, it is day three after my knee scope. Keep in mind today that Today is the day the doctor said I would probably be able to drive. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll bring you in for the close up. My knee is huge. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm a little concerned. I, I, I don't think my knee was supposed to be this swollen and there's been no change since since day one so the fact that the doctor says I'm supposed to be able to drive now makes me a little concerned also I'm supposed to do all these exercises which involve keeping your knee straight and there's not a chance I can keep my knee straight I can barely put weight on it today so I'm not going to do the exercises today because I don't want to stress out the knee. I'm going to stay on the couch as much as I possibly can. And uh, I'm just going to ice it all day. I guess that's about all I can do. I really don't know what else to say. Yesterday I think we made some progress. I think the swelling has come down ever so slightly. And then I wake up this morning. Mornings are pretty bad by the way. After sleeping for 10 hours and you get so stiff, it's really hard to wake up and get out of bed and get moving again. Oh, these pants aren't very good. Um, so uh, the swelling came down this morning, I think. These aren't any good. I need new pants. New pants, please. All right, new pants. So like I said, it's day four. Swelling went down this morning. Walking around the house, I actually took a shower today. We'll come in for the close-up. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of a bruise starting to develop there. So it doesn't look terrible. 
I've gotten a little bit more flexibility in it. I didn't take the painkillers last night and I went to bed and I was in a fair bit of pain. I didn't sleep very well. So I took more painkillers this morning and uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. If I stand up, you can see really how swollen it is right up around here. So I don't know, that's day four. Hey YouTube, how you doing? It is day seven. It has been one week since my knee scope and uh, here's the update. I skipped a couple days there. Not much was happening. Uh, last day and a half, two days. I've seen some pretty good progress actually. It's feeling fairly decent. Um, there's a look at it. Hopefully you can see it okay. I took the tape off the stitches there and uh, looks alright. There's a little bit of bruising just right around the one little area here. Um, other than that, it is coming along nicely. I'm fairly pleased. It's been a week. Uh, the swelling is definitely down today. I'm actually walking fairly, fairly normally, which is uh, which is encouraging. I'll bring you in for the close up here and see what I can show you. So uh, quite a bit of swelling in that area right there, but uh, it's doing fairly well. I can almost straighten it. I'm walking, walking pretty good today. Um, I can actually straighten it fairly easily which is uh, which surprises me a little bit but what I'm having trouble with is is bending it to its full range like pulling my heel to my bum is what I I'm found that the best routine with. is just to stay off it as much as you can keeping it elevated I have been doing some exercises just some light stretching that the doctor gave me so I ice it I stretch it and then I ice it again and that combination is working pretty well I found the best way to sleep at night uh, initially I had to have a pillow underneath my knees and lay on my back it was kind of awkward now I, uh, I can lay on my side, but I put a, I fold a blanket over a few times or a towel will work too. And I put it between my knees and I sleep, uh, I sleep on my side now. So, uh, that's the best way to go there. Anyway, YouTube, not much else to say. Uh, day seven, finally starting to look good. I think I'll be able to drive in the next couple days, which is good because my family's coming out for a visit and, uh, that's what it will, uh, check in, in the next couple days and I'll let you know how everything's going.